Hey everyone, we're back. My name is Miss Scarlet Tanager, and I have been playing some Call of Cthulhu. Now I assume that the thing has to do with this. So it's going to be the trip of one of these four boats. My gut instinct says the Scylla because that's the only one we've heard so far, but might not be that one. Okay. Charles Hawkins was keeping her father's letters from her. Hmm. Interesting. I almost missed that. They look like Celtic ruins. I almost missed that too! Charles must have brought them back from one of his foreign trips. There must be a link with the Seaway map. Hmm. Dark water that we send us our morning. Captain Hamilton was confident, he says that. We'll beat the Orpheus this season. May God be merciful. No longer ignore the sad fate. What has eaten these huge beasts? I told him it was about him and he doesn't care. We've caught it. The most grotesque whale we've ever set eyes on. We go down in memory. It's the biggest catch ever. Many men have died, but we've gained glory. This will be a celebration for years to come. And the Orpheus returned with empty holds. The Scylla and Hamilton are only memories. So it's not the Orpheus, not the Scylla, not the Hamilton. Okay. Looks like the navigational paths described in the law. So it's the St. Claudine and the St. Claudine went from dark water to there to there? There must be a link with the Seaway map. Looks like the navigational path. Shut up, dude! Described in the log. Hmm. Okay. So it's around. Here in the path, ended up about here. No, <laughs> doesn't work. I must. Looks like the navigational paths described in the 51 log. Fifty-one five. So it goes from dark water to thirty-nine thirty-one, then up to England. So that's about here to about here to about here. <laughs> Doesn't work. I must have missed something. What am I missing? There must be a link with the seaway map. I mean, I could just start trying. I'll get it eventually. Uh, well, if it if it's the okay, I'll try this thirty three fifty three one. So this is thirty three would be if it goes okay. So it goes to zero. Thirty three would be about here. Three? Fuck. <laughs> Doesn't work. I must have missed something. So it's not that one. There must be a link with the seaway map. Hmm. I don't get it. Looks like the navigational paths described in the log. Hmm, this is probably gonna take me a minute. Looks like the navigational. Okay, path never mind. Described in the, the thing on the seaway map. It's it's it is the Scylla. Um, I was thinking it might have been the Santa Claudine because it was like got here with empty holds. Um, but actually, I just figured out that the numbers are that the um, longitudinal latitudinal are just they're these things right here. So. That means... There must be a link with the seaway map. Okay, so if we go to what I thought before... Okay, so 33... 
53. Looks like the navigation would be here. Described in the log. So we'll find dark water and just go down that way. God, it's hard to see on this. So that's roughly here. Would you put it about here? <laughs> Looks like it worked. I didn't even have to look it up. I just did it. I well done, am amazing. I didn't even look it up. I'm so proud of myself. Because there's sometimes the puzzles if I can't figure it out quickly enough that I will look up the answer just because I'm recording and I can't be sitting here for half an hour on a single puzzle. I am generally pretty good at puzzles, though. I'm just proud that I managed to do a puzzle like that without looking it up. <laughs> or without looking up a hint, at least. Tunnels under the Hawkins Mansion. This is going to end poorly. Also, I still feel like Bradley's going to die. He might not. He might survive. Still feels like he's going to die, though. Because it's a horror game. And we took him with us instead of leaving him behind. Though the fact that he's not appearing in the uh, cutscenes, in the FMV style cutscenes, makes me think that they just didn't want to have two versions of the cutscene for if he was there and if he wasn't there. Secret passage under the manor. It's like a detective novel. Sure. That guy must have already gotten far. Probably. Yeah. And he had a direct means of entry to the crime scene. We must find him. Three seats. Oh yay, a reconstruction. Someone's been here recently. Shut up, Riley, I have to go into my Zen mode. Did Charles Hawkins use this place? Hmm. Who were the others? Nice uh face. Or lack of. Whatever Charles Hawkins hid here, he didn't want it in his house. He was a cultist! What is this mask supposed to thing. represent? Cthulhu, obviously. Like, it's always Cthulhu. Nobody ever, you know, pulls in the other Elder Gods in these games. No Nyarlathotep, no yogg -Sothoth, no fucking any of them. It's just Cthulhu. Cthulhu, even though he's a pretty minor god in the actual mythos. This piece of cloth is unmistakably from a dress. Was Sarah Hawkins here? Sarah found out about the fuckery going on here and had an argument with her husband about it obviously <laughs> yeah. maybe she's not gonna end up being a bad guy part of me still thinks that she'll end up being a bad guy possibly a good guy though a disfigured saint what does it mean a disfigured saint what does it mean I don't know. Fucking change, change the fucking light. There we go. Ugh, it's creepy. The symbol. What does it mean? Uh, something culty. You're, gonna, you're not gonna open it. Oh no, he did open it up. I just couldn't really tell. Okay, let's go, Ossifer. You got places to be, Osfer. Let's go. That is pretty cool that the light goes away when you run. When you're using the, um, lighter. It makes sense. Oh, dear. Of course. <gasps> Something tells me that the key oh! is climbing these steps. Oh, shit. There's tunnels all over this island. Given the size of this cave, there's got to be other entrances. You got to talk so loud, Bradley. The passage continues further down. Might as well start with that. Oh, this is going to end well. I ain't going to squeeze in there. I'll find another way. That's a bad idea. If possible. I prefer not to ruin my uniform. Fine, fine. Go look for another entrance. I'll try my luck down below. Rule number one. You never split up in a horror anything, movie or game. I mean, they always fucking do it. It's always a bad idea, though. It is never a good idea. I can't see. Oh, 
this is less than helpful. Can I squeeze? No. I eh, probably gotta go this way. Yep. <laughs> and then I clobbered over that. Or it falls behind me and now I have no way to get back. Great. What's that? That's creepy. Some kind of dream catcher. If I touch it, it'll turn to dust. That's creepy. That's also creepy. These paintings must be several centuries old. Probably. I mean, I don't know how the hell you're dating that so quickly. It's not this like you're an archaeologist. This monstrous creature must be an allegory. No. It's definitely not an allegory. Oh, dear. That's a statue. It's never an allegory. These people lying down. Are they dead? Are they asleep? Don't start going crazy yet, dude. These buildings seem to have come out of the water. It's Relay. It's Relay. It's always Relay. Only people who know the Cthulhu mythos know what I'm talking about. Yeet! I didn't do it. This, yes, this. Click. Oh. <laughs> cool. So now I've almost maxed those ones out. And then, yeah, the next one I'll do will be spot hidden. Oh, whoops. Validate. Okay. No button from this side. Oh, okay. That's because we could have just opened it for him that way. Fire all the light screen. That's not how fire works. Time has weakened these structures. Okay, let's just run across them. I'm sure we'll be fine. It's not like it'll crash underneath your feet or anything. Okay, that's where the dude went. I don't have time to search them all. Sure you do. The fuck? It looks like animal oil, but certainly not whale. It's a creepy Innsmouth creature, obviously. It's oil from Cthulhu. They've been milking Cthulhu's teats. Cthulhu now has teats. Okay. Oh fuck. Oh, that's some cha- oh, that's some chanting! What's going on here? Shut up. Stop talking! You're alone, you- you're alone, you don't need to be talking. Keep your voice down. We're not alone. Good God. What have you got me into? Go home, Bradley. This is beyond your pay grade. We'll see. I'll go on. Try to go down on your side. Yeah, th there's a passage. I'll meet you at the bottom. This is beyond your pay grade, Bradley. Go home. Oh, oh, I know what they're chanting. I know what they're chanting. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I know what they're chanting. I feel like it's sneaky time. Oh, that's the painting of me! Oh dear. Oh, that's what he A stole. Mass grave. Gross. Why are they worshipping me? What did I do? Don't worship me. <laughs> it's probably a bad thing. <laughs> you should know. Dumbass. Oh dear. Um I'm going to look through this at this painting. It's fine. I got to Oh. Oh, this is from the dream! I can't breathe! What's happening? Always having a panic attack. That's not, there's nothing panic attacking no, you No, damn it! I must find a way out of here. Oh, over here. Obviously. You're fine. This is fine. You're fine. 
This is fine. You're fine. Is it... Is it my turn? <gasps> yes. It is time. You will soon be one of us. If your body and mind are ready. My body is ready! I dream of it every night. I have constant visions. I am ready. Good He's enough. He's gonna get... Prove it to sacrifice, us. isn't he? It's like in my dream. Great. This is gonna end well. It seems to have been used recently. This is gonna end Probably very well. Some sort of ritual. This is gonna end well. And by well, I mean poorly. Pre classical Latin? Let's see what it says. You can what is this awakening they talk about? I can read Latin? This sacred flesh. <laughs> That's random. Oh, so I have to go the same way he did in his dream. Cool. I still feel like they're gonna catch Bradley and we're gonna get there just in time to see him get murdered. No, I can't fucking see. There we go. Okay. There's some shit. I found something up there when it was the dream section. Doesn't seem like there is anything, though. I'm like, mm, I, I'm, st I'm just waiting to have like a stealth section. <laughs> None of them saw the door open. Cool story, bro. Bradley's gonna come through that door over there, isn't he? I'm just waiting for him to fucking die. Uh oh. <gasps> what happens if I just run over there? Cool story, bro. God damn it. Grant him your dreams and accept his. Oh, so that the paths yes. of your souls finally intertwine. I I feel him. Summoning a Yogsatha or um, not Yogsatha, God. A Shoggoth. No. All you who sleep, bring me more sacred flesh into the kingdom of the earth. This is a bad idea. It looks like a kind of deep coma. What could this ritual have done to them? Uh -huh. We are ready for the ceremony. What about your protege? His awakening is complete. He will join you shortly. What the fuck? How did that guy not see me? How did that guy not see me? How did he not see me? He like walked past my ear. <laughs> yeah, just let them have the ritual. I'm sure it's fine. Why do you have two rituals going on at once? Team efforts. Don't speak Raylan. Gonna end poorly. Hi, Bradley. Bradley, what are you doing here? I saw two odd looking guys coming down. Seemed up to no good. Stop talking. This is gonna end poorly. Oh, that guy has tentacle hands. 
talks. Why would you talk? Shit. Why did you talk? Dumbass. Tanical arms. Don't move. Police. Bradley. Oh, this is the Don't dream. Move. This is the dream. Except it was us instead of him who got. Oh fuck. <laughs> I knew I it! I fucking Bradley, knew it! Back. Get back. I fucking knew it. For it! I knew it! I knew it! This is when you go. No, this is when you go. This, this is when you fucking go. Charles. Uh oh. You shouldn't have seen this. It's Charles Hawkins! Ah! Yep. I knew Bradley was gonna die. I fucking knew it. Uh. Oh fuck. Um. Um, yes, run. Run, bitch! <laughs> um. They're caving in. I cool. need to get out. Hold on! I got some point. I knew he was gonna die. What did I fucking tell you? I knew he was gonna die. So Charles isn't dead. Great. Wonderful. Here. Run! Nope. Nope. So that was just like my dream, except instead of me getting stabbed, <laughs> it was Bradley who got stabbed. And again, I knew he was gonna die, so. Uh, uh, my leg! Oh, you're fine. <sighs> Stop bitching. Oh, right. <laughs> I can control this. Blood. I could do without the tinnitus. Oh. Is that a dead cultist? That's a dead cultist. I go left. I was gonna say I always go left. Always exit to left. Light. At last. It's actually something in a lot of video games you can do if you want to get as many secrets as possible. If you're given an option to go left or right, you always go left. Because in game design, it is much more common for um, game designers to put secrets to the left. So to put them down left corridors and stuff. Because most people's immediate like assumption is to take the right-handed path. Um, sort of like how most people are right-handed. So the right path, the right-handed path, or the right side path, is usually the one that'll lead to um, progressing in a storyline or progressing in the game. So the left is usually where they put secrets. I think I've brought that up in video games before, but it's just, it's just an interesting little tidbit about design. So yeah, in a video game, if you're given left and a right path, always go left. You'll usually find a secret. And then you'll have to go right to get onwards in the game. Just at that time was one of the few times where going left actually took you Whew, onwards. Just clear of Oh, okay. So I did get picked up. I got found it. -it, -it, -it. And I'm at the rivers. I'm at chapter five already. <laughs> I've only been playing for two hours. Great, wonderful, brilliant. That's gonna end well. Scoozy. Nope. I do not like needles. Leave me alone. Creepy dude putting creepy injections into me. He's having a seizure. Who would survive? A strong subject. <laughs> a strong subject? Could you not experiment on me, dude? Nope. Uh, needles around my eyes. That's even worse. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Don't move, Pierce. 
You can certainly say that you gave us a scare. <laughs> what did you do to me? Undo these straps! Whoa! Go easy, my friend. You were dead. He killed you. Are you sure he's better? He was... He was dead. Me too, we, we were dead! What are you doing? I'm sorry, my friend. What? No! Woo! Still don't like needles. So, Bradley's... alive. Bradley's a bad guy now. Bradley got killed. I'm in a fuck. Of course I'm in a fucking asylum now. What happened to me? Where am I? You're in an asylum, obviously. So, Bradley got killed by Charles Hawkins. They used some Cthulian magic to bring Bradley back. Bradley is now a bad guy. <laughs> that is my that is my immediate assumption right now. Mr. Sanders, you have to come with us. No, please. I can't leave here. You got no choice, Sanders, and neither do we. <laughs> you don't Rude. understand. If I go out, he'll see me. No, no! You're leaving this cell. Please. I don't want him to find me. That's creepy. I'm in an asylum. Great, wonderful. No, I don't want to wait. Okay, so that's going to be it for this video, you guys. Yeah, I'm in an asylum now. What's that? <coughs> Gross. Okay. <laughs> My name is Miss Scarlet Tanager and I have been playing some Call of Cthulhu. I'll see you all in the next video.